Hi, I'm Ebony, and I hope you all have fun and enjoy our reflection of knowledge, and thank you for coming. Sister for Science is an organization where not only are you going to experience cool things, we also get together with a bunch of girls and just be ourselves. We talk, we write journals, we just have fun. Hi, my name is Nathiel, and I will be talking to you about food science. Well, the question was, like, does water stop really freeze things? I learned that the bigger the jaw is, the more muscle you have. For this experiment, we chose different sized containers and we chose food coloring and things to put in the container with water, like rocks and salt and warm water and cold water. We learned that the food coloring was mimicking the um, pheromone or the chemical that the fish puts out and travels across the water. We took black ink and put it on our fingertip and we had it overhead paper and we to put our fingerprints on to see what type of fingerprints we had. And I had whirls and loops. Well, according to what I discovered today, a fish's brain is so small that once it comes out of the water, it will evaporate and turn to mush. For a program to open up for my daughter like this was just phenomenal for me because she's always, since fourth grade, fourth grade, have love science. Love, love, love science. I use the scientific method pretty much every day because I have a curious mind and I ask a lot of questions. I chose to do Sisters for Science because I think it would have brought a little more knowledge about science. I wanted to do Sisters for Science because I thought it would be like interesting and like it really was because we got to do our fingerprints and we got to do chemo reception and food science and stuff like that. I felt like it was like a good opportunity for girls, especially ones who want to become scientists when they grow up. I actually was kind of surprised about the women scientists because I heard from rumors that there ain't that that there's not that many women scientists around. So it was kind of cool to see actually live scientists that were female and not boys. How is the science different in the after school? set up than what you're doing at school. When we were with Elsa, like we got to pick what we wanted, like what we wanted to choose from. We had like a list and we choose like whatever we wanted. And um, um, school science, um, it's like uh, they pick the topic and like we, it's like kind of, I'm not, like it's kind of boring for us. Uh, it's fine because since we're only like seventh, eighth grade, we don't like get to like dissect dissect like fish in class, or like the older kids, but it's fun because we get to learn more stuff than just the subject that we're learning in class. I wanted, I, was ex I wanted to do more with my hands than less with just the books. I understand science is most research, but unless I can see it, unless I can see it, feel it, and at least smell it, I am not going to be that impressed with just reading out of the textbook. Uh, the reading has escalated. Uh, since she's been uh, doing uh, well in science and, and she loves to read now and that, was, that never happened before. <laughs> so all of a sudden the reading level has gotten better, much better. And now that she knows that math is so important when it comes to science, now she's taking better interest in math. And I'm curious if there was like a personal challenge or personal accomplishment through Sisters for Science that you would be willing to share that you feel proud of? I struggle with public speaking. I have like a really low voice and sometimes I talk really fast. So it helped me like, it helped me with that. I don't like to talk to people I don't know. I don't like to work with people I don't know. And <laughs> I didn't know none of these people except for him. So um, it helped me get over my challenge with working with new people. So. Yes, I will pursue this as a career when I get older, and I will go on. I want to get my PhD in chemistry. So.